Hey strangers and welcome back to another video, and yeah, this idea probably isn't very creative, all I'm doing is spinning a wheel to figure out which primary I get, but you know what, I don't care, we're doing it anyway because I've had this idea for like, <laughs> I think a month or so now, I just haven't been able to do it, so now we're finally getting around to doing it, so let's go ahead, let's spin, let's get our first gun, and we'll hop into a 5v5, come on, why is this thing so slow, what are we getting? Ump? Okay, you know what, I'll take it up. I'll take it up. That is not too bad. I think I might have preferred the M6 and A4, but you know what, we'll rock it. Alright, so for our first gun, we have the UMP-45, as you all saw. And honestly, the UMP is not that bad. I mean, yeah, it's slow firing, but it's a three-shot minimum with extended barrel. Typically a four-shot, which is really bad, so I still highly recommend running extended barrel on the ump. Like, there's literally no reason you shouldn't. Dude, watch that pre-fire though, like that was kinda hot, not gonna lie. Hold up. M my teammates didn't get a kill. There's one guy left. Are we gonna get an ace literally right off the bat? Hey yo? I may have just cursed myself by saying that. I cursed myself. I cursed myself. Oh man, why? <laughs> I had to curse myself. I knew he was gonna be there, so I tried to pull out my gun, but the problem was is that like there's like a delay. Whenever you pull out a gun, like you can't shoot right off the bat sometimes. And I clicked left mouse, so I should have got that kill. But for some reason, it's like the gun jams. If you, I don't know. I'm just, I'm making up excuses. <laughs> Man, I should have. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm actually really disappointed about that because I could have aced right off the bat. Literally, first game on, first round on as well. I'm just balling, dude. Also, I'm like very convinced that at least one guy's coming this way. I'm gonna hold down this corner because I bet. Really? Did they all just like decide to sit at that staircase or something? Because <laughs> like I peeked, there was one guy. I don't know where the other guy was, but oh man. See, if that doesn't show you that the ump can be good, I mean, granted, yes, the ump is probably the worst SMG. It doesn't, you know, it's not fast firing like all the other SMG. It doesn't carry a lot of ammo. But I mean, all in all, it's not too bad. Honestly, I really do enjoy using the ump. It's one of those guns that, like, while it might not be very good, it's a lot of fun to use. And the ump is just one of those guns I like to use, like, every once in a while. And it feels great to do well with, because, you know, it actually does take... Well, I'm not gonna say skill, but it's definitely not very great. It's not a great. It doesn't stand out too well, so it definitely can be a little bit troublesome. Like in CQC, when people have like a faster firing gun than you, like you can just get wiped so easily. Also, I am sad. I should not have missed that up. I had the line up and everything, and then as soon as I try to move and change my camera, I just shoot the wall. Alright, good job, teammate. Alright, now we will be moving on to our second gun. Hopefully we get something good. I didn't remove the ump from the wheel, so we might get it again, but... Hopefully not. What do we get? MK-18! Alright. I can live with an MK-18. That's, I mean, that's not too bad, all things considered. Alright, so now we are using the MK-18, and if I sound like any different, it's because I recorded the first part earlier, the UMP game earlier, and now I'm doing, you know, the rest of it. Because I had to do the first part this morning, and now I'm doing it in the afternoon, so, uh, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Anyways, MK-18! I'm not gonna lie, I like this gun. MK-18, it's pretty solid. It's a very decent rifle all around. I am struggling. Good lord, dude. Alright, it may take me a second to get used to this recoil. I've been using, like, low recoil guns, like, all day. I've been playing some Phantom Forces as well. Just been using AUGs and stuff like that. It doesn't look like it has a lot of recoil, and yet I still couldn't hit my shots on that dude. Okay, now I'm hitting shots on this dude all the way down there. Okay, this is bad. I'm gonna back out. Okay, that guy just tried to drop shot me. Kind of cringe. Uh, I believe there's like, there's gotta be at least another guy pushing up here, right? Like, I swear somebody else has gotta be. Last enemy remaining. Oh, I heard him. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's a guy already flanking me, so I was looking below me trying to find the other guy, but never mind, he's already right there. Alright, that works out. Anyways, like I was trying to say, MK18 was like really good, and now like after the balancing changes, it's now like a four shot minimum. So it's like, eh, now, okay, everyone's just bomb rushing down the coast. Cool. <laughs> Alright, uh, you know what? I'm gonna defend our spawn here. I'm gonna let everyone else just bomb rush there. Die instantly. Maybe get a pick if we're lucky. Other than that, I'm just gonna hold down the fort here. Because the guy with the Benelli, I'm immediately worried about that. I don't want to fight a Balemi, I'm gonna be honest. Anybody? I don't... I don't know where everyone he is. Where'd everyone go? I, dude, there, I could have sworn I heard a guy with a shotgun right up top, and now he's just 
vanished. Which, when it comes to shotgun users, they're the last person you want to vanish on you. Because next thing you know, they're going to be right behind you with a bunch of buckshot in your skull. And that's not something you want to endure. Alright, there we go. Uh, I think the other guy's like in his spawn. Yep, there we go. Alright, so 4-1 in that game. I'm just going to go ahead and move on. I, I think I'm only going to play one game with each gun. So, whether or not I do well or poorly, doesn't matter. Alright, third gun. Let's go. What are we going to get? Give me something good. What are we do? What? Hey, G36. I love this gun. I'm very glad we got G36. I will gladly accept that. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. I could have sworn I hit a 5v5, but I guess through just, you know, uh, well, what's it called? Muscle memory. There we go. Muscle memory. I guess just through muscle memory, I instinctively click 2v2. I mean, I, I could, I promise you I hit 5v5. I could have sworn I hit 5v5, but there's, I've got, I've got the tapes. I got the recording, so maybe I just completely screwed it up. Anyways, G36. G36 is ballin'. If y'all have watched me, even just like maybe like any of my like Rank Zero to Five episodes, you'll know that I love this gun. Like, okay, what? You know, I honestly thought that man would like stay still, like, you know, come back. Anyways, G36, this gun is amazing. Three shot minimum, literally 14 recoil. That is lower than the AUG. Well, provided you have, you know, Summit Vertical Grip and the Warpig Muzzle. Then you've got 14 recoil. I can't believe they didn't nerf this gun in the balance changes. But honestly, I'm going to be honest. I think G36 might be the new best gun in the game. I'm going to call it now. It's up there with, you know, AK-103, FN Fall. As much as I hate to say that. Actually, I don't know. FN Fall might not. I haven't really used FN Fall. I just know it's a two-shot. And with the extended barrel, it's now a one-shot headshot. So maybe it's good. I don't know. I haven't really used it. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll use it later on in this video. Anyways. I definitely say G36 is probably the new contender for best gun in the game. Maybe AK-103. I don't know. Those are those are the two guns that I can think of like right now that are probably the best guns in the game. Is G36 and AK-103. So yeah, if you're wondering any guns, and that goes for both, you know, PvP and PvE. I mean, because you know, if a gun's good in PvP, it will most likely be good in PvE. You know, because you know, I don't know. Maybe that's just what I think. Anyways, uh, G36, three shot minimum. You don't even need extended barrel. I wouldn't recommend running short barrel. There's no point in doing it because you go from 35 to 31 minimum damage, which that is obviously a big drop, and you go from a three shot minimum to a four shot minimum. So I highly would, I wouldn't recommend at all short barrel. Extended barrel you can use, but you don't get any hits to kill, so you're, all you're doing is just adding weight to your gun. So you could use it if you want, but I don't think it's very necessary, so... Yeah, just come down to personal preference, I suppose. Anyways, you probably won't notice a huge increase in TTK because, like I said, you're not really gaining any hits to kill. But yeah, G36 is balling. Okay, I just gotta say it now. G36, oh my god, this gun's amazing. Stop that. Alright, we went 6-0 with the G36. <laughs> if that doesn't show how good this gun is, then I don't know what will. Also, I don't speak that language, so for all I know, the enemies could be cussing me out in chat right now. All right, what are we going to get this time? Something good, please. Not the same thing we've done before. Okay, we almost got the same thing we did before, but we use the fall. Maybe it's not called the FN fall in this game, but it's called the FN fall in my eyes. All right, we got the FN fall, and I literally just got done talking about whether or not this might actually be a good gun. And there's only one way to find out. By steamrolling kids on a Tokyo game. Obviously. That is, that is that's... A testing thing. Bonk. Alright. I'm gonna be honest. I expected way more recoil. So already, I'm a little scared. I did a stupid peek. That wasn't the gun's fault. That was just me being bad. <laughs> if you are wondering, what is, why am I just not using the extended barrel? Well, it's often because I forget to run extended barrel. Now, why is that? Extended barrel is a direct upgrade to your gun. True, but often you don't gain any hits to kill. And all you're doing, really, is just adding more weight to your gun. So, for me, it's like, why would you do that? Because if you're not gaining hits to kill, all you're doing is basically adding more weight to your gun. Okay. So, one thing I've learned really quickly from the fall is that it has a very bouncy camera. 
like you fire a couple shots, your reticle is all over the place. There's no consistency. However, I don't know what this last guy. Is. Okay, never mind. Doesn't matter. Teammate got him. He went seven and zero. Good job to him. I went four and one, so I guess that's not too bad. But yeah. Hello, raccoon bananas. <laughs> 